What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin. I'm going to try to make this brief and not get too ridiculous because apparently I've been a little bit ridiculous, and that's the last time I'm going to say ridiculous. If I say it again, you better drink. But, uh, you know, r real quick, the game the game's already started, by the way, so, so you're in it now. But, but I guess it's a bit ridiculous to talk about a coin that broke out from its previous all-time highs bounced on its weekly all-time high closing basis, found support, and it moved up in a course of literally about nine days, 143%. I guess that's ridiculous, man. It's very, very ridiculous to see that kind of positive reaction. I, it's, it's ridiculous that people are making money on, on a meme coin, a Jesus coin, man, and just killing it while other coins are going down and being stagnant. Like it's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, man. Um, what, what's also ridiculous, I know I know, I said I was done, but we're almost done here, man, is that we've got one, two, three, four, five confirmed days on the Heikinashi, and whenever we were down, going down in the dumps here, not once did we have five days confirmed. Not once did we see anything but these neutral candles. When we had these like small ones, and then one big one, and then another small one, not once did we have candles that were consistently like big. I guess we had two small ones here, but really we've had three big ones. Five Heikinashi green days. We didn't see any of that on this downside here. It just feels a little bit ridiculous to me um enough of that man it's an inside thing you wouldn't know if if you weren't there but i got called out for being ridiculous and i think someone's salty because they're not holding this coin and that's okay man we can still be friends you know it's okay i'm not i'm not trying to to upset anybody but it's it's a bit lame <laughs> that that you're upset whenever you're just not a part of this coin man like if you don't want to watch these videos you don't have to watch these videos this is you don't hold this coin why are you watching it do you want to hold this coin okay if it sounds ridiculous to you then you don't you don't have to watch these videos man you really don't you can watch any of my other videos that are about things that are not ridiculous all about the things that are going down this is the one coin that's been going up right i mean yesterday we were up 13 percent i don't think anything i mean there's probably not that many cryptos that went up 13 percent yesterday definitely not any crypto mining stocks but I don't know, man. We're just ridiculous over here in the in the Jesus Coin community. But what I'm trying to say, you guys, is on a daily basis, we did confirm support off the 50. We did confirm five days in a row on the green Heikinashi. We did confirm a day. Well, we haven't confirmed, but we did have the breakout into this range. We had a higher daily close. Today, we're looking for the confirmation of this. This was, again, as I said yesterday, the first of three dominoes that I'm looking to fall. We're knocking it over. But we need confirmation still, okay? Today closing green, today moving back to this white line or even a little bit below this white line but still closing above it would be the confirmation we need. And if we were to move back down here and, and move a little bit below it, whatever, but if we came back, closed here, and then we saw a bounce off it, that would be confirmation for sure. But we don't need that. We could also get confirmation in the sense of continuation. That would be fine too. Um, what I am worried about in the more immediate term is that we have this kind of downtrend in the daily RSI, don't we? We have these lower highs coming into play, lower lows. We have like this downward channel. If we can break out of this, really what it would take is like another day of green price action. And then I would think that we have confirmed it. And that's just ridiculous, man. We, we would be, we'd be moving up higher for sure at that rate man I, I really do think things are looking good but we're still below the 618 that's the next domino to fall right we need to get above we need to close above about what what is that actually that's three come on now the green the green bar is in the way three one six zeros three one zero four if we can close not get above it's exciting to get above it but it's much more exciting much more convincing to close above it um, not only would I be convinced that, that we've let the first domino fall, but we'd be engaging the second domino to fall, the third domino that needs to fall in order for us to ascend to the land of the five zeros or higher is to break out to new all-time highs. That's that. That's essentially that right there. Um, Closing above this would be a strong indication, but really what would be the indication? I don't even know if we actually need to break out to new all-time highs to get that domino to fall, man. It might just be above this high. Um, but either way, I think new all-time highs is a safe bet too. But all that to say, man, things are looking better and better and better by the day. I am a bit curious to see if we do pull back and see a higher low here. We could come down to the 382, which is at 602, 21, 2, uh, 216. 
We could even pull all the way back to the 618 and find support at these daily low closing basis. We could do that as well. So watch for that. It's not over if we go down here. Just because we don't get the confirmation of breaking into this range doesn't mean that we can't find support down here and come back up and do it another time. It just means that, you know, in the more immediate term, we're not looking like we're going to go up. But let's let's see how it pans out. Let's see how this all plays out. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll see you guys, you know, on the on the next video tomorrow because I, I did say that I wasn't going to be making daily uh, updates on Jesus Coin until it was exciting again. And it, it is very exciting. Um, if we come down, it might be a day or two, you know, until we find our low that I talk about it again. But as we're literally doing new and exciting things every single day, like breaking above the 50 finding support on it, getting our fifth Heikinashi day in a row, breaking into this previous area that we found support on before we actually broke through it, had a, had a day closing above it. As we're doing all these exciting things, I want to keep you guys up to date so you're aware, just as I am, you know, stay fresh on this stuff. But, but again, the one thing, the main thing that I have of concern right now is this kind of uh, descending trend line, which I suppose if we really, really tighten it up, I guess we broke out of it. But... As exciting as that looks right now, you know, maybe, or actually, no, we haven't broke out of it, have we? Because that would be today. If today closes red, then, then it would look like we find resistance on it. So, so again, all the more reason why it would be really nice to see today close uh, to the upside. If not, no big deal. It just means we come back down. Hopefully, we find a higher low. Maybe we find a lower low, but we get a higher low uh, on a closing basis here or something like that, and then we continue to move higher. But either way, you know, we all know where this thing's going. It's just a matter of if it's going to happen sooner or later. And even if it happens later, it's not going to be too, too much later, right? But uh, that's all I got, man. I am curious. The one other thing that I'm curious about besides that is to see how Jesus Coin will react tomorrow with the Bitcoin ETFs news coming out. But, uh, you know, Jesus Coin does like to run independent of Bitcoin. It doesn't seem to care. Maybe it will care tomorrow, but maybe it won't, you know, so, so we'll see. And again, the reason why, in case you missed it yesterday... The reason why I think Jesus Coin runs independently is, you know, we've got it's kind of a different demographic of people that are that are investing in this with like different kind of uh, motivations, I should say. Um, you know, I'm sure there's some degens in here. I'm one of them. Uh, there's, you know, there, there's some people who are speculators, traders, of course, but I think there's a lot of people who are like hodlers, straight hodlers, man, that bought at lower prices, even bought at higher prices, and they're not selling down here. They're not selling if it drops 50%. You know, there are some dedicated hodlers in this thing. But another thing that I think is really crucial to the uh, the formula of why I think this thing doesn't care about what Bitcoin does is that it's not on any major exchanges yet, that it's really not on any exchanges, right? Like if, if we go here, we type in Jesus, it's only on Poloniex, at least as far as TradingView recognizes, which means that if there's any other exchanges that it's listed on, it, they, they got to be a lot smaller. Poloniex is already small, but they got to be smaller than Poloniex. So, you know, exchanges tend to hold a decent bit of most cryptos, right? They, they tend to, they, they tend to hold, especially of like the top tier ones, um, not top tier exchanges, top tier cryptos. And with that, you can see the exchanges moving money similarly around, right? Like they can move their coins around or, or like kind of, uh, they, they have their market makers influencing the price all the same. We don't have that with Jesus coin, man. It's not, it's not on any of these exchanges. It's, it's so, so I think it, it can run independently is what I'm trying to say. And we've seen that before. We'll probably continue to see it. That's why I really am curious to see what happens today. When I said what happens tomorrow, it's because it's still the day before. It's I know it says the 10th here, but for me, it's still the 9th. I'm curious to see what happens during this daily candle. I really am curious to see because if we keep moving up while everything else is moving down, that could really bring some attention to Jesus Coin, man. And that could fuel the fire. That could really, I know I was saying that we could do this a few days ago, but I wasn't expecting it. I know a few days ago, like down here or something like this, one of, one of these days, I was talking about we could do this, but I didn't expect that. I'm okay with the unexpected. I'm, I'm okay with being proven wrong as long as we're moving up. That's okay with me, man. But let's see how the day unfolds. Just another another bit of just needing to be patient. Things are looking very good. All that to say, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more. The four hour is very strong looking for sure. Decent volume, moving up, not bad. 
um, getting the right pushes, man. You even actually checked back and found support on a previous, like the four hour actually looks better than the daily, but the only thing is the daily is more significant than the four hour. So let's, let's keep this growth going. And that's all I got for you. So take care, have a good day and be happy for people, man. If they're making money, don't, don't get a salty butthole about it. Just be happy for people. There's no need. If, if this coin doesn't interest you, watch any of my other videos. Don't watch any of my other videos. You know, you don't have to watch this. It's a, it, it might seem ridiculous to you, but man, I get, I don't know about you. I don't know about any of you, but I get pretty jacked when I see a coin move up 143% in about a week and a day and I'm holding it. I get pretty damn jacked. So if I seem ridiculous in any of these videos, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> you know, that's, that's your problem. It's not mine. Take care. Bye-bye.